Okay, I've been reading The History of Sexuality by Michel Foucault. And I want to say right off the bat, this guy's clearly a psychopath and a pedophile. And that's kind of the gist of this video is I'm starting to think that the elites legitimately are like pedophiles and serial killers and just completely like on some American psycho shit. And it's disgusting and the Epstein thing and the P. Diddy thing and all this shit. We've seen no one can do anything apparently or maybe we can maybe we can actually go out and protest some of this stuff properly and like have a like a mass get together and eat hot dogs and and talk about how pedophiles are actually not a good thing for society i don't know what we can do but anyways i'm gonna watch that movie eyes wide shut i think it was recommended to me on instagram well it was i don't think um today so i'm gonna watch that um but yeah, anyways, back to Foucault. He, I was reading his book, and he, he was talking about this village um, imbecile, um, like this low IQ gardener, and triggered because I'm a low IQ gardener. No, I'm just kidding. But um, anyways, like he was kind of like the village idiot back when village idiots were the thing, and maybe like some kind of um, like Down syndrome guy or something like that. Anyways, he would pay like pennies or nickels to children to like jerk him off and make a game out of it and Foucault was basically defending this saying that it was okay but then you read like the next page and like his own subconscious admission says that like in his own words like even though he doesn't recognize it says it's not okay because he says he pays the young girls to do this not the older girls because they won't do it well that just shows you that they don't want to do it so it's forced it's court coercion it's rape um why i bring this up into this um not to say that um like the everyone's pedophiles and i don't want to get this confused saying that because foucault is gay he's a pedophile and i don't want to step on that line landmine but kind of what i'm going to here is it seems like Foucault wasn't the village idiot and he's supporting this so the village idiot like I mean like if you I've seen on to catch a predator um that Chris Hansen showed that there, there was a guy there who showed up he was in a wheelchair and he had a down syndrome like guys like that shouldn't be put to death and they shouldn't like death penalty and and like a life in prison like they should have like some kind of counselor that keeps an eye on them and they should be like having some kind of like little job and then they should just be monitored um but then you have someone like Foucault which probably has an IQ about like 150 and like he was like an, a French intellectual and he was he actually petitioned to get the age of consent removed like a guy like that is is very red flagged like that's it's not even red flags it's just that is who he is and it's completely disgusting and I don't know if that brought way to the Jeffrey F scenes I think they existed always um and I'm not saying that it's institutionalized although behind the scenes it probably is Noam Chomsky was apparently caught with the Epstein thing I don't think Epstein was the only one I think there's many of them and I don't think it's just pedophilia although they clearly are pedophiles but I think that they're probably tying up adults too and picking their eyes out for fun and games like I think that this is like a complete like like horror movie the the stuff that these guys are doing um but my point being i guess is is i'm starting to believe that the accusation of power and kind of this structure we have is is people that have very bad behaviors inside of them probably want that power so they can put smoke and mirrors and get away with it and it's more and more permissible as you climb the pyramid and I think we have a structure in place where we reward bad people. And I think that that's been going on for a long time. And I think, I don't know, I think that's that's the whole video. I just think that, that there's actually like really sick people that are, are leading the way um, of this society that get elected. And it's not just pedophilia it's it's just corruption all all along it's just these power games it's this lying this manipulation and there's no actual democracy there's no actual freedoms 
I don't think at this point. I think there's going to be a very harsh repression on the on the little freedoms that we have, the the kind of the the artificial freedoms that we have are going to be gone very soon. Um and these people are going to be living on private islands on yachts. They're going to be in these compounds when the water dries out and yeah, good luck people. Like I mean, wake up and do something like there's lots of lots of people i said this in another video they're just on a boat their their boats owned by the bank they don't care they're having fun they're chasing chicks they're flipping burgers they're drinking beer i mean that's a good life and it might be it might be wise just to party it out when when the world ends so you had some good memories i mean i don't want to be too much of a doomer but like there's some serious structural changes that need to be made if we're going to actually live in a world and like that that's decent and i'm not trying to come off like a communist here i'm actually somewhat a capitalist because i think if you work hard you should be rewarded but it's kind of at you're not really rewarded if you're worked if you're working hard because this is all generational wealth these people all know each other you really have to get lucky to get any crumb and i think that that the this like even look at the Vatican, like what they can do with their wealth. And they're all pedophiles. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Flip the pyramid upside down is kind of what I'm trying to say here. But I think they're sick people. And I'm just a man with a microphone trying to make ASMR videos and whatever, man.